Trump's health was rapidly declining, but the death yesterday of State House Speaker Michael Bush came as a shock to many. His loss was still felt as the legislator closes out its 2019 session. WJZ is live right now. Alex Dimitrik with how Bush is being remembered. Alex. Well, Rick, Republicans and Democrats both praised Michael Bush for his fairness and his concern for Maryland citizens. Starting in 2003, Michael Bush became the longest serving House Speaker in Maryland history. He died Sunday at age 72 from pneumonia. Signs of mourning and remembrance filled the House floor. Coming here, seeing the, the rostrum draped in black, just um, hard to hold the tears back. From him being a friend to him being a mentor to him being my boss, basically, it's just been, um, I couldn't imagine somebody doing this job any better. That job wielded considerable power over what policies would become law. They included the controversial, like eliminating the death penalty in Maryland to raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour. He evolved, he grew on these tough issues, and that's why we're a better state for his having been one of our servants. Other issues, like protecting the Chesapeake, Bush brought with him to Annapolis. That and bettering Maryland schools were frequent goals of his own proposed legislation. And while he enjoyed an overwhelming Democratic majority, Republicans found fairness. Politics can be pretty rotten, and uh, in, in this place, uh, he lifted us up, he kept the debate fair, and uh, he allowed the Republicans to have a voice, which wouldn't be true in other places in the country. On this final day of the 2019 session, for the first time in 16 years, the Speaker's gavel will fall without Michael Bush. Well, Governor Hogan has ordered Maryland flags to be flown at half-staff. Funeral arrangements are pending. Alex Dimitri, WJZ.